Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we are going to look at a few drills for you. And I'm going to go through this really quick. So feel free to review the video over again, maybe a couple of times, so that you can pick out your favorite drills or the things that you think will help your game the most. This one is a little bit of a monster. Uh, you got 12 balls, one at each of the spots along the long rail. And you have to make these rail shots. Not only do you have to make the rail shots, but you have to get position for the next ball. It doesn't matter if you shoot them from the left side or the right side, but you need to get position on each ball. So as you go down, you're thinking, which ball am I going to shoot next? And if you happen to miss a ball, like that eight ball, all you're going to do is you're going to put it back on the rail. Now, this looks simple, especially in fast motion. But this is not an easy drill, guys, because keep in mind that each one of these shots, some of them I'm using English, some of them I'm going over and back, uh, some of them I'm just trying to tap it so I stay on the same side. So keep this in mind, and this is, the, I say, the best drill ever to practice if you're having trouble with those rail shots. Let me know how you make out with this. If you have difficulty with it, put less balls on the rail and instead of playing 12 play 6. Now this is a very simple drill especially for beginners or intermediate players. It's a progressive stun shot drill. All I'm doing is making stun shots harder and harder as I go down table and the way this works is if you get to a point where you can't make the stun shot you're going to go back to the first ball and keep going until you can make the stun shot each time. This is just a cut shot drill where the cuts get progressively more and more difficult. You're going to find that progression is a theme with all the drills that I do. This one you have ball in hand and you have your own discretion as to which shot you're going to take next. Whether it's a draw shot, a follow shot. That was a um, high left hand English, you know, longer shot. You can see that each shot, what I'm doing is making the cut angle more difficult and the type of English more and more difficult until I get to this shot which is almost straight up and down the table where I have to cut it into the what is my right hand corner pocket. So that one's simple you just line the balls up and you come up with a different shot each time. If you watch my channel you've seen this drill you've probably seen it a half dozen times. This is one of my favorite drills for two reasons. One it's not nearly as easy as it looks. But you also cannot get position on the next shot if you don't get perfect position on the previous two shots. So talking three balls out, this drill is ideal for this. And in real world situations, these are the skills you're going to use most often is those short little draw shots. We go from that one to another one that's pretty difficult. Here you're shooting draw shots from the center of the table and you have to get position on the next ball by coming off the short rail. This one you can choose whichever ball you want and that's key because in the real world you do have a choice on which ball you shoot next. But as you can see here I got a little out of line on that 13. I'm going to have to do something wicked to get on that one ball. So you can see that I played that one ball with I'm sorry, the, um, the strike ball with low right hand English to get on the one. And I'm so out of line on the one, I actually missed that shot. But that's why they're drills. Now these multi-dimensional drills, which I call them, where you have to do two things at the same time, like make a long shot and draw the cue ball, or make a bank shot and draw the cue ball, I think are ideal. Because something like this, you have to get position on each ball, and you have to make a shot across table. So um, I think this is a great one, especially for high intermediates, to learn not just to make those instinctive banks, but to get position while you're doing it. This one is similar to the one that we talked about two shots ago, except you pretty much have ball in hand here. You can see that I'm getting position on each one, except for that nine ball where I'll get out of line. But you can put the cue ball anywhere you want to make these shots. The whole point of this drill is once again progression. It gets more and more difficult to make each shot. And if you can't make a previous shot, you go back to the beginning and start over. 
Now, this is not so much a drill as me playing nine ball against a ghost, and I want to talk about the importance of playing balls in rotation for eight ball players. There is nothing that is better cross training for eight ball than nine ball. When you play a rack in eight ball, you get bailed out very often, especially early in the rack, because there's so many balls on the table you have to choose from. I never learned to play elite level position until I started playing nine ball. You really have to practice nine ball. And of course, you know, my game's not perfect. So I practice this all the time. I probably spend most of my time shooting balls in rotation more than anything else that I practice. If I only had 15 minutes at a pool table, I would do nothing but break and run nine ball racks. So break the rack, give yourself ball in hand, and shoot the balls off in numerical order. If you miss, take ball in hand again and start over again. The reason you want to play with ball in hand is because nine ball gets frustrating when you don't have a first shot and you're just kicking a ball around the table and you really should not be wasting your time banging balls around the table when you could be practicing your position. So practice shooting balls off against the ghost. Just break the nine ball rack, take ball in hand, and go from there. And you're going to be a better player whether you play eight ball, nine ball, straight pool, one pocket, you'd name it. Watch the video again, guys. It's only seven minutes long. Pick out your favorite drills or the ones you think will help you the most. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think. Also, don't hesitate to adapt these for your game, your level, your table, all of those factors. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And again, watch the video as many times as you need to to get the best drills for you. Thank you.